Friends, that's Mogwai here, and I got yet another 12 year old react and the reaction video. Yeah, I, I, I still don't know how to make these intros, but let's go with that. We have another champion reveal. I don't know why I thought we had three champions instead of four. I'm an idiot, and I said in the other, uh, you know, the you dear or you dear. God, I, I can't. I, I, I get really cautious about it now because everybody said I, I mispronounced it. I don't even know how to say it. Oh dear. Oh dear, let's go with that. So I reacted to oh dear, and <laughs> that just sounds so wrong. Though. I reacted to you, and uh, you was not the last champion. In fact, Gnar is Nar. It's Nar, right? Like you don't pronounce a G. Oh my God. I don't really know much about this character, to be honest. Um, I do know that he's a Yordle, and you know me, I love Yordles. And yesterday, for those of you who followed me on Twitter, I had quite the rant on uh, some of the Bandle City reveals and. Uh, yeah, I, I, I may be, I'm going to use this video as a way to clarify what I was saying and uh, give a little bit of context to those tweets and all that stuff as well. But without further ado, we are going to react to Nar, who I assume is from Bandle City, but maybe a multi-region um, champion. I, I've been told that to expect him to be uh, Bandle City and Froyard, which uh, would make sense, but uh, we're going to see that right now. And also... Uh, Definitely do expect some sort of synergy with uh, you there here, or at least the cards that were revealed yesterday, which have revolved around uh, hitting the Nexus, right? Dealing direct damage to the Nexus. So we're going to see if that's what he's about. And without further ado, let's stop rambling. I am recording, correct? I am. Let's see. Okay, that's that's adorable. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Already won me over. I'm a Yordle now. Let's do this. Okay, so he is Bandle City Froyord, like we assumed, and uh, he is just incredibly cute still. Four mana, three, three. Strike, create a pokey stick in hand, or if you have one, reduce its cost by one. Level up, you've damaged the enemy Ret Nexus this round. Round end, so Gnar works the same as the units that were revealed yesterday. The, the Pokemon, as they call them, right? Including the Toad, which I have hyped up quite a bit, and I'll talk about that in a bit as well. So, yeah, uh, same effect. Okay, so is he gonna become like a four mana, eight, nine? with impact or something? We'll see. Two, three, four, half, oh, be, five. It's what it's going to strike, right? Yeah, it's what it Very easy of a requirement. Okay, so this is the kind of character. Okay, so he transforms. Now, now I understand the package and and the, okay, so that's the character. That's why I, I'm like I, I remember seeing Nara, but he, he felt like I felt like he was bigger. <laughs> All right, it's coming together. Okay, and he does get quite bigger. He goes from a four mana three three to a four mana six five with quick attack and overwhelm. When I level up, grant the strongest enemy vulnerable round end if i've seen you start the round with the attack token transform me back into nar wait wait if i've seen you start the round with the attack token transform me back into nar so he converts back and forth interesting interesting and he hunts he hunts the strongest enemy with i mean it's a really powerful effect Nakodacho! Narboga! Nakodacho! Narboga! <laughs> oh, Wait, but he, but, he, but he retains some of these buffs? Can I? Can we go back from? I mean, how come he retains these buffs? Wait, l l let me actually see. He transforms, right? Okay, and then and, and we also did not see the the level up requirement here. Well, we we did. Never mind. What am I talking about? But why why did he? I'm I'm just confused. Oh, because he played. Oh, because he played the. Oh, I'm an idiot. He played the the Barcoda guy. Sugar. When, when they transform, he buffs them. <laughs> 
and he keeps getting bigger with that synergy. Oh my lord, these critters are out of control. No, my god, the guy cried. No. You are no longer a cobble, friend. And there's You'll the never know what hit him. <laughs> Ramhard. That's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the cards that come around with this. Uh, Primal Strength, Burst Speed, Grant an Ally, plus two, plus two, and Impact. Pretty expensive, though. Like, you're granting, right? Like, it is a strong... It is definitely a, a strong combat trick uh, because of the Grant effect, but it's still quite expensive compared to four mana combat tricks like uh, Riposte, for example. Um, it, it does feel like quite an investment, so the, the card seems quite balanced. Nars Wallop is a fast speed spell that deals one to an enemy and stuns it. You create a Nar in your deck. You you stun for three mana. Okay, that that's really that's really good. Okay, so so, so Bandle City can stun at, at fast speed now. Okay, that, that that's a legit good card. Okay, so so Bandle City can now even like stun like Ionia and shit. Okay, wow wow that's. It's, it's very nice to be Bandle City in this game. Mini T. Oh, seven mana. Mini T. Round end. If you damage the enemy nexus this round, transform me into Mega T. Oh. Oh, it's like Mega Mogwai. Oh, my God. Seven mana, eight, eight with impact. Round start. Transform the strongest enemy into a three, three mini T and silence it. It can't block. Okay, that's pretty funny. Like, it's, a, it's like mini morph on a stick. I, I actually like that. That That's pretty cool design. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad about that. <laughs> that's really dope. Chief Nakodak. When an ally turns four and fully and granted plus one plus one, people have been mentioning the synergy with this potentially in concurrent timelines, which I think is really hilarious. So I, I, I definitely um, you know, want to look into that, even though uh, you have to be careful when you want to play this because you don't want it transforming into something else, right? But there's synergy there. And naturally, there's synergy with the transformation units here. And we got Teeny Dactyl and Pterodactyl. So these units are like really... I want to talk a little bit about them because I, I kind of I kind of went on a ramp. Yeah, I went on a bit of a rant yesterday. I was going to say rampage, but yeah, it kind of, kind of is the same, like a ward rampage at least uh, regarding some of these new cards because it feels like it feels like Bandle City just keeps getting more and more shit. And, and like now they have a fast speed stun that is Nar's signature spell, which is amazing. But man, I also really like Nar, and I'm all, I I know that this champion is quite popular. I I don't know anything about him. I I've learned it in this video, and I'm already really liking it. So I can understand the obsession. Like it, it is very clear to me. And <laughs> Chief Nakotak, then his voice lines. I just, oh, I love him. I love everything about these creatures, honestly. So let, let, let's move on to uh, Twitter and let's discuss the uh, you know the pterodactyl, the uh, the Gromp which is the, the big toad that I have quite a bit to say about and all that stuff. But first impressions, Gnar is really cool and the back and forth transformation seems really neat. So let, let's go into that. All right, and we're back. And before anything, <laughs> I, just, I literally opened the Twitter and I see this. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, so we got to like that tweet. And uh, yeah, let's take a look again at Gnar. Uh, <laughs> just have that thing. You guys can see it right now, but I have that thing on the, on the side. Oh, uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, we we got a three mana stun now for for Bando City. Bando City Yasuo, am I right? And uh, yeah, there is Yasuo synergy with that for sure. Fuck this meme. So we have uh, the package. Actually, do we do we not see the uh, the Nar here? Okay, we do it. It's just like on the second page. It's kind of weird for the champion to be the second page. So Nar wallops like the signature spell is actually really good. I think you can legitimately play this um, outside of uh, or like. You know, include this card in the deck, just not because in many cases we've seen uh, the champion spell or the, the, their signature card in, in, in general, which tends to be a spell, uh, which is always a spell. What am I talking about? It's a lot of times we've seen it not be really good enough to be included in the deck on its own. Like it, it's decent as, as as a signature spell for the champion, but outside of that, not really. When it comes to Narg's Wallop, I think it actually fulfills that like it's it's a good card on its own a three mana stun like it's not the two mana uh 
Steel Tempest from Ionia, right? Like it costs one more mana, but it's also dealing one damage to it, which could allow it to synergize with regions like Noxus. And you can combine this card alongside Ravenous Flock, for example, because we've already seen Bandle City and Noxus combine really well. This card adds more to the potential of just combining these two, uh, uh, Bando City and, and Swain. Like, I, I'm really excited to b using Nars. Maybe Nar Swain. I could I could build, like, a Nar Swain. Because we see Nar with Froyard, right? But the reality is, I think Nar will be stronger outside of Froyard. Because they're, they're, they're showing us Nar combined with Udyr. But I actually do believe that Nar will be stronger with the likes of Bilgewater or Naxxus. I may be wrong, but that's um, that's my first impressions. It, it has a lot to do with his follower package. Uh, mini T, Mega T, I, I just, I love it. Like, the flavor of these units and everything, like, I just absolutely adore it. And Primal Strength seems a bit of the weaker end of these cards, but still not not absolutely atrocious. And now let's take a look at, uh, you know, these. Uh, there, there's some controversy that came out of my end with this. And I'm going to add a little bit of context to the tweets that I had. For, in case you guys don't, don't, don't know, I did tweet about these yesterday, if, if you don't follow me on Twitter. Uh, I went on a bit of a rant because I saw these cards and I'm just like, okay, so Bando City just keeps getting the preferential treatment, which is true. Like in this game, I'm really excited about the Udyr package, but the reality is overall the power level for a lot of the cards just from the other regions just don't seem to par to be on par with what Bando City keeps on getting. I think Bando City is too complete as a region. I think they do too much. Uh, they have very very few weaknesses and they just like. It, it, it just like I, I really cannot swallow the, the the excuse that they are the region that explores all all the world so they're the most complete in that sense because okay fine from a lore perspective that's completely okay but in a card game like you're completely imbalancing and it's because riot has this 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 pattern right like uh, it, it's very very clear at this point the, of design in which whenever they introduce a new region they just make it unbelievably busted. And they do so more and more every time. Like it started, like Rising Tides was actually pretty damn good. Added a lot to the game. And it was still like the greatest expansion really to date. But then came Targon, which was really pushed. Then came Shurima, which was even more pushed with, with stuff like Merciless Hunter and the overall like nutty synergy of Azir and Irelia and that thing just raining everything. Uh, and also like buffs to Severe later on the line and the Ruin Runner, et cetera, et cetera. Like Shurima just be just was shoved down our throats and not because of specific synergies or anything but just because of the high the high like pure power level of certain cards right and now with vandal city we have like the most complete region in the game and it's not even close right and they're supposed their identity like i like regions having identities right and i thought at this point that vandal city was this region that could spread out and had little dudes and and swarm uh, but then, you know, Minimorph was introduced, so they have the ability to deal with high-end targets as well. They have an incredible amount of pings, which created the deck known as Ping City. And now they have huge-ass fucking units as well! Like, really crazy-ass, like, high-value units. So it's just like, what does this region not do? They can stun without Yasuo! And it's, it just, it kind of drives me a bit nuts, because it's just like, man, like, what about the other regions? What about Froyard? What about Froyard, man? Like, what? What about I don't know Shadow Owls? Like, it, 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 it's just I, I just, I just think they, they go completely overboard, and that's, that's the gist of it, right? Like, I saw these cards, like, just compare Pterodactyl, all right, with, uh, with the, uh, the City Breaker, and people say, well, City Breaker is not viable, so it's not even it doesn't even make sense to, to, to throw that out. Well, it's, they have the same role as cards, and I'm not saying that one card is a little bit better than the other. It's just that the absolute disparity between the power levels of the cards is just ridiculous, right? Like, this card is a, ends up being a 4-mana 6-5 with impact that deals 1 damage to the enemy nexus at every round start. Like, this is crazy. And you say, whoa, it, it's a 4-3 initially. Yeah, okay, but that's not even that bad of a stat line to begin with. And to be fair, like, it's, it, it's, it's like, it's not a bad stat line at all for 4-mana. Like, Chump Wump used to be a 4-3 for 4-mana. You know, I, I guess they preemptively, like, fixed them because then, <laughs> you know, these cards wouldn't see as ridiculous. And Spotted Toad, oh my god. This, I'm really excited for this card, by the way. Like, I'm, I, I may sound like I'm bitching because these cards are really strong. You know, they're busted, in my opinion. Um, I did go on a... T I, I did say Spotted Toad was the greatest, like, the strongest card ever designed for Legend of Runeterra or something like that. Okay, a little bit of context. It was a late Sunday. 
I've had a little bit to this is a little bit of wine at night to drink and I, I haven't drank in a long time because of my gastritis so I, I was a little bit tipsy okay and maybe I said some things that were a little bit overblown and, and exaggerated and that's one of them I, I, w I will take the hit all right but I stand by my statement that this card is fucking busted you know because everybody went on me after I said that I, I get it right but bro this card is is crazy let me explain why Five mana, four, five, spotted toad. Round end. If you've damaged the enemy nexus this round, transform me into Giga Grump. Giga Grump, ladies and gentlemen, is a five mana, six, seven. With impact that says, when I transform, deal one to all enemies. An AoE ice shard like effect that only hits your opponent's board. This is a nutty five drop. This is the strongest five drop we've ever seen. At least as a follower, it has the power level of a champion. And I don't care what anybody says. All oh, this requirement is, 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 is not that easy to meet. You may have to spend mana. Oh, come on, bullshit. Like, you just attack with, with a spread out board. You had some impact units on the board. This is like one of the easiest requirements. Compare this requirement to Radiant Guardian. Which, when you're facing a good player, it can actually be difficult to trigger, right? And, and what, do you, what payoff do you get? A 4-5 or five with tough and lifesteal. This is a 6-7 that just pings everything. Right? And, and it's so easy. It's so easy to achieve this. Like, these cards are nuts. Their power level, their stats are out of control in a region that's supposed to, you know, not have big units, right? Like, they can swarm and they have the biggest units of all. Like, what the fuck? You know, like, I, I, I'm just like, Lava Lizard is not as crazy. Because if you compare this to, for example, the Jack Butcher, you get a 3-3 three, three for 1 mana with Plunder, which is the same effect. So this card is actually not that... It's still good, don't get me wrong, but it's 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 not it's not as nutty. It's definitely more balanced. But these... The, the Pterodactyl, like, and, and, the, and the Giga... Especially, like, the Giga Grump. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, these cards. Giga Grump, I, I'm actually excited for, though, because I want to build this, you know, with Gnar and Bilgewater and Gnar and Swain. So, Gnar, it would be like Gnar and maybe like a mixture of, of Twisted Fate and Gangplank, and then Gnar and Swain uh, with uh, those two regions. I feel like that's where the, the truly, cards like this will truly shine, and I'm really excited to uh, mix with that. And I think, I think Gnar may be the first champion that I showcase on the channel with the expansion, because I really, I want to make my point with this card. Like, this card is bonkers, and I've had some people just because of <laughs> overboard I went, like, this is the greatest card ever! <laughs> with my glass, <laughs> but, but some people are, are making use of like the exaggerated statement to kind of like try to, to, to bring this card down. It's like, oh, it's not that good. It's like, oh, come on, get, get your head out of your ass. Th this card is nuts. It, it is really overstated. Uh, like it's, it's, it's easy. Like, come on, it's overstated. Like the, the initial body is a four or five. You don't even have to trigger this thing. You don't even have to trigger this thing immediately. Right, you can play this on turn five because people are so obsessed with with oh it it uh, it having to have like an, an effect immediately, you know, or it having to trigger trigger the same turn. And you don't even have to do that. You can use that body to block. As a four five stat line is not bad at all. Obviously, you want to be getting more out of a five drop, right? But for a, a threat like this, it's a very nice initial body to have that you can even use to block into stuff. And then imagine playing this in the next turn, dropping Twisted Fate with a red card. You trigger this, you deal one to everything, and then at the end of the turn, Boomba, Gigagrom, motherfucker, and you just wipe them out. Like, and you have a 6-7 with impact, and that impact allows you to trigger the other Pokemon coming after, you know? And, and, and it just, it becomes so easy to chain these, you know? It's, it's crazy. Like, this package is really strong. And honestly... I'm done ranting about it. Like I said, I think Bandle City gets preferential treatment. I've, I've, I've shared my piece. And that out of the way, I am a Yordle now. I will fully embrace this because this seems fun as fuck. Like, that's the reality of it. It is, it looks incredibly fun. Cars like these are very synergistic. And hey, if they're busted, so be it. You know, I'm just glad that we're not getting any more regions in the game. So they, they quit doing this shit of just like releasing a region and making it just fundamentally broken. So that people are forced to play it, to win games. You know, we're going to get past that point, hopefully. <laughs> and... And we could just enjoy some of these stuff. Because having that said, man, like, balance aside. Balance aside, this is fun as hell. And I am really, really, really excited. Like, I'm actually, you know, because you could interpret me as hating on Spotted Toad. But that was just the, the, the balance, you know, the balance uh, want for me. I, I, can't, I don't even know how to word that. Like, I'm, 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 I'm losing my English here. 
But I, I really, really like these cards. And I really like Gnar. I really like Gnar's design. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the back and forth between, you know, like, uh, Adorabra and uh, Scarabra is uh, really, really cool. And overall, I'm, I'm a big fan of the design. And I think um, even though even though he's part Freljord, I do believe it's going to be Bilgewater or Noxus or both that uh, are really going to be the, the home region combinations for, for this little guy and his friends. And that's essentially where I'm going to leave it at. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm... Uh, do you agree with, with my take on Spotted Toad? And, and like, I, I feel like this card is, is going to be so good. And uh, I'm definitely going to be playing it a lot. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about Pterodactyl. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Bandle City as a region and its balance. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? It's, it's fine if you disagree with me, by the way. Like, sometimes people think, you know, because I'm very vocal about things, just like, oh, you don't agree with me? I hate you. You know, like, I, I don't mind. I'm, I, I can have some uh, discourse going on here. And, uh, you know, as you make your point, I'll be throwing rocks at you and shit, but it, it'll be fine. We'll be friends in the end, so... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a whole day. <laughs> Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. There'll be a gameplay video after this. Two videos today. Not bad. And I'm going to stop rambling. Love ya. Have a whole day. I'll see you tomorrow.